Hi, my name is ISC, or I swear Chris, as I'm known on a few different platforms. Today I'm going to try a new series to split up and have some fun with the videos. I'm going to call this series Wiki Grab Bag, and the concept of this series is I'm going to use the wiki's random page feature and grab three different tracks without any influence and just play them on video. I won't know anything about them beforehand, and I may not recognize them at all until after the video is over. But it should be really fun to play new ones I've never seen before. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and leave any feedback down below. Let's have some fun. Okay, so the first track that I'm going to be tackling today, I believe, is called Lakeside Pier by Potato Man. Uh, I've never really played this track as far as I know, so it should be completely new to me. Let's see what we've got. Whoa. Okay. This looks pretty promising. This looks very good already, actually. Let's see what we got. Nice simple turns. Ooh, shortcut already. That's a good shortcut, too. Little mini, mini cut. Whoa, is it going to night or day and night or something? That was kind of crazy. Whoa, sharp turn. Oh my god, sharp turn again. Uh, I'm kind of screwed, aren't I? <laughs> See, this is going to be the beauty of this series, too, is we're going to get some interesting tracks in here. Whoa, this respawn. We're going to get some interesting tracks in here I've never played in my life before and have some interesting things like that in them. It may not be perfectly polished. Oh my god. <laughs> but they're going to be really fun to play and try to learn and figure out in the fly, too. These respawns, man. They're pretty tough. But otherwise, I think this track is pretty cool. I see potential in this kind of layout and design. Let's see what we got. Oh, okay. I'm just being dumb. I guess I'm supposed to go further up. Uh, so the regular route, I guess, would just be to do that, regardless. I like the water texture I noticed down there. Something weird is happening in the skybox whenever I go there. I don't know what what's happening there, but... So, go really inside. Yeah, there we go. Can I cut this off? Oh, that's really cool, actually. That's I don't know if that was intended, but that's a very cool strap. All right, let's see if we can drive a clean lap this this time. Ah, it didn't give me the trick early. Okay, never mind. <laughs> that, there goes that idea. I, I'm just trying to look and observe the scenery too. This is a very cool looking track. I feel like it has a lot of potential. See, this is why I wanted to do a series like this. We're gonna be talking about tracks that I've never played before, never seen before. I don't know if anybody's ever really talked about them that much. There's just little quiet tracks like this that have a lot of potential, I think, to be a very unique and interesting course. I really like this dock section idea, too. But yeah, that should be like Side Pier. I honestly don't mind that that much. It's pretty awesome. Um, I would say, you know, there's some obvious, like, blind turns and some weirdness going on here and there. Some really sharp turns, but I think that track has a lot of potential, too, so I'm down for it. That was pretty cool. So the next two ones are going to be interesting. This one, they're both uh, previous or current CTGP courses. They're going to be extremely high quality, and there's not going to be much jank to them, so you should just expect like a very serious kind of race. This one is Neo Bowser City 3DS um, by Atlas. So it's very polished, very clean. You should expect like very few problems with it since it's gotten like so many revisions. Uh, yeah. I mean, you can just see already, like, this is just an extremely, extremely pretty and accurate rendition of the original. Let's see what we got. I think I've played this version, like, once or twice before, but a long time ago. I believe the current version of CTGP isn't even this version anymore, if it even is in the track pack anymore. A hammer, bro. Yeah, this track is very pretty extremely polished like this track has probably had months put into it i bet these guys are awesome like cheering you on i think they're over um piantas because they turn to face you but yeah you got like blimps or stuff going on in the sky i, th I assume that's like the original i've never really played much um, mario kart 7 i think i played it one time on somebody's like one of my friends um 
3DSs back in the day, but I never really played much past like one or two times. Um, I've always kind of liked this course to some capacity too. Um, I feel like the visual style is really unique too. It's not really something that like many Mario Kart tracks have ever really tried to capture, which is city at night with um, rain going on. I wanted to do something similar to that as a C like a CT at some point. I mean, I may still do it, we'll see. But I think this track is insanely pretty for a CT. And Atlas did a phenomenal job. You can already tell, man. You already you already know what to expect when you're driving it. It's just very clean, very polished, very nice. I like how this section looks in particular. You have the little fog or like exhaust that's coming out of this uh, grates. It's just small details all over the place that you wouldn't really necessarily notice unless you like make CTs. I feel like too. Oops. Well, don't do that. But um, there's a lot of little pretty scenery too. I'm seeing like a lot of signs hanging around too that are like animated and going through different textures that's like done with um patterns texture patterns in this game let's see we're almost done here that should actually be it yeah well don't die but that should be it a very cool little track too bowser neo bowser city um cool track I, I honestly don't have anything to criticize. I think there's like a couple weird bumpiness things, but honestly, phenomenal. Obviously, it's great. That's a cool course, too. I'm glad we played it. I feel like some of these more like CTGP heavy polish tracks are what I need to every now and again to keep my brain in center so I can play some like very interesting out there kind of tracks and then some more together tracks like this at the same time. All right. This one has a history. Some people are going to be interested in this one, so you are probably going to hate it, but... This is Disco Fever. Disco Fever by X Blue. I am mixed on this track. I don't hate it, but I'm I'm somewhere in between on it. It's a very weird course. It is such a weird course. There's some decisions I'm not too fond of, but yeah, this is the CTGP version. I just chose that one out of the ones that were available. Uh, I think there's like a version with like some uh like pop band in there over some of the advertisements and one with like mario characters over advertisements this one's just what they used for ctgp for the current this one was recently re-added like a few months ago wasn't it like a few so it's it's relatively um new in the context of ctgp again there's a lot of small details that they added to but i can tell x blue had a lot of fun with this track it's like insane insane visuals there's so many routes on this track too some are almost pointless as far as I know, but trying to play this online in any kind of context is crazy. There's this up here. I don't even know if this is any like worth it at all. I think going the other direction is more worth it from what I've seen. But yeah, the visual style in this track is trippy. It's so trippy. Oh god, what am I doing? I'm supposed to go right. Okay. <laughs> Disco Fever is a crazy track. I won't lie to you. We got some Koopa Troopers. Just chilling out. I don't know. This track is a vibe. I feel like you either like it or you don't. I can kind of groove to it sometimes, but... It's hard. It's a very hard course, too. Uh, of the X Blue tracks, uh, I think this one is one of his more mid tracks, but I respect it, too. Some people probably really, really love it. To so get this trick here. I think one of these is the fastest route. I'm pretty sure that is the fastest route. I could be wrong. I decided to go Waluigi today to just try to mix it up a little bit too and have a little bit more fun with the character diversity too. If I played Funky Kong every single video, it'd probably get kind of boring. So with some Waluigi representation in here too. I think we're almost done with this lap. Just one more, and then we'll be finished up here with this video. Um, if you guys enjoy like this style of content, you should let me know too. I'm trying to mix it up every now and again. Do like um, different video series or styles every now and again. Try to mix up my commentary and be a little bit more emotive every now and again too. It's more fun this way too to mix in like videos like this where we're talking about um, random tracks I've never seen before, interspersed with the um, 
well, interspersed with like tracks that maybe I've played once or twice, you know? It helps. Like, you get some CTGP courses, maybe you won't get some CTGP courses. You'll get a little bit of variety here and there. Like, we could literally just get some random, like, 10 minute track juxtaposed against a free and short track that lasts, like, 50 seconds, you know? And I think that's the beauty of something like this, too. I won't even know beforehand either, so we could get the craziest track of all time, or we could get something very simple and plain like this. That's just pretty cool. But yeah, uh, this track is obviously very pretty. It's got some of the most crazy visual style I've ever seen in any track. It's still nuts. It's like a disco rave in outer space with craziness happening and people dancing all over the place. I like it. I know there's some issues for sure. It's not my favorite of X Blues, but it's a pretty cool track in its own right too. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be the last video or the last episode or the last track of this episode. Uh, it was a lot of fun recording this one too and talking about these tracks and trying to get in depth in them. Um, if you'd like to see more content like this in the future, be sure to subscribe. Uh, I'll keep putting out videos like this if you guys like them. Um, thanks for watching as always and peace.